Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Chef D, and I'm here to give you the winning ingredients for another edition of our best ball 20 entry max. We're creeping up closer and closer, getting to filling this tournament out, and then we're gonna move on to the $10 one right now. This is the $3 one. You get 20 opportunities to throw some darts in this particular one. Uh, so let's get this started right about now. We're gonna say we're gonna draft that team. We're gonna lock that money in as soon as it loads. Yes, I understand that. It's still just over halfway filled. Obviously, we're doing the fast. And we're locked in there. So, guys, before we continue on with this, is it already starting? No, there's no, it's the fastest it's ever started. Is it gonna start already? Can I even do my promo? Can it? Can I? Will you allow me to? I got the third pick, so I get an early pick. And I'm trying to rush to do a promo. All right, let's see if we can get this in before it starts. Guys, you need to go to the channel homepage, okay? See the channel homepage? All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, if you are a viewer and not currently a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get all this great fantasy football and best ball content that we're going to be putting out throughout this whole entire summer. The next video coming out after this best ball draft will be the tight end tier rankings. I already been working on it. That's coming out um, very, very soon. It's probably going to come out in the next, probably tomorrow, the next day after this video comes out. All right. So sit tight for that video. I've been working on tiers on that one. Uh, let's see. I might need to refresh this. It looks like it's a little bit stuck here. Let's throw, let's throw a little for fresh button on that. I appreciate you guys for the previous video. Um, if we're looking at it right here, decent amount of views. All right. I want a little bit higher. I want it to surpass 220, 219 like that one did before and continue to hit that like button continue to comment thank you for guys that did comment on this video uh that you see right here positive uh uh notes there as long it doesn't matter what it is there's so much going on in these drafts that you might as well throw a comment while you're watching this video okay insanity ensued on that previous one i thought i was gonna get like at least 30 but Let's see what happens in this one. Let's see if this even goes through. Let me, let me get off. Take out this Wi-Fi. Hold on. Let's see. All right. It has started already. It started out of nowhere. I don't know if he's ready. If we're looking at the people here, we got M. Bacala, Steve Perotti. We got me, Isaac Drone, Bucks fan, Chippy, Dane Train, Mr. Black Child. Please. I like that one. Daniel Vendetti, Arby's 101, 020, and Jay Hill. Those are the people in this draft right now. I don't know anyone this one. In the previous one, I think we had someone from ETR or someone from another high upper echelon uh, fantasy football YouTube channel. Right now, we have an option between CMC, Cooper Cup. Uh, let's go Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup should be healthy. This season, we're grabbing us a top tier wide receiver. He was on pace last year to surpass his groundbreaking season the year before, but he got injured, all right? So now he's back healthy. Him and Stafford are back healthy. They gutted out the defense. There should be a ton of offensive points on that Los Angeles Rams uh, side, okay? They're going to be putting up a ton of points as long as they can stay healthy because they have a very putrid, putrid defense, okay? That's what happens when you can't afford everybody. As you can see, I'm trying to indulge in an icy because it is hot. It is hot as hell, all right? So we got us a little snack while we go through the draft. Comment down below if you like ices. What is it, strawberry? Strawberry lemonade. Son, this is a crazy. It's two flavors in one. That's all I know. And it was a, it was on sale, so that's what we're rocking with right now. Uh oh. Let, let's not disrespect the people viewing. Let's throw up that board. Cooper Cup. 
Travis Kelsey, CMC, Tyreek Hill, Austin Eckler. There's not many times I get to start in the beginning of a draft and I get uh, Cooper Cup, all right? Not very often. I've been in the back in majority of these videos uh, trying to snag uh, some players here and there. Let's see who comes back around. It's going to be very interesting to see uh, if someone falls to me that I do like, all right? So after Eckler, Adams, CeeDee Lamb, uh, A.J. Brown, Stefan Diggs. So we're getting a whole piss boy color scene right here. Yellow, 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 yellow. That's why we call it piss boy, okay? Yellow. All wide receivers gone. Majority in round one. Only two running backs in round one. What is J.L. going to do? Is he going to grab someone around that quarter? He goes QB, obviously. He has two picks, so he wants to get an elite quarterback here. And is he going to pair with a wide receiver? Or is he going to go after a running back? He goes Bijan. He goes Bijan. I expected, uh, I expected to see that right before we get into that second round. He throws Bijan in there. Bijan, Jalen Hurts, a very powerful one-two combo. And now, are we going to get a run of running backs here? We have Saquon Barkley in contract talks. We have Nick Chubb, who should be seeing a little bit of a downgrade here because of Deshaun Watson. They guarantee, fully guaranteed his contract. Believe me, they're going to get their money's worth utilizing him in that offense. All right, That's one of your guarantees of the season. If you want to wait on QB, Get Deshaun Watson, all right? Get Deshaun Watson. You're banking in on someone that has huge upside. He's been working a year and a half in this offense, and um, he's they're going to be forcing the ball out of his hand, okay? I'm telling you right now. All right, so after that, Nick Chubb, I'm on Ross St. Brown. Jonathan Taylor goes in the second round. He was going at 101 last year. You're getting JT at a big value in the second round, okay? That's a great selection there for Dane Train. Oh, excuse me, for Mr. Black. Garrett Wilson off the board. It's looking like we're going to go heavy. Heavy wide receiver. Let's see. Josh Allen off the board. We're two picks away. We're going to look at who I want. Waddle. Uh, Chris Olave. Pollard. We'll even throw Patrick Mahomes in there. Even though I, I tend to wait on, on that position. Uh, Devonta Smith. I might do something a little different. All right. Ooh, Ramondre. We'll see. I might do something a little bit different here. All right. Dang, I really want to watch him. Um, Patrick Mahomes off the board. Now we're looking at Tony Pollard, Chris Olave, Devonta Smith in this uh, area here, and even Ramondre Stevenson. I can get a top tier running back here, either Pollard or Stevenson. I have more. They're both they're both good selections here. Ah, uh, we are gonna go with TP. We're gonna go with TP. I love Chris Olave, but we're gonna go with TP here. Uh, I don't have much of Tony Pollard, so this this is uh, the way I'm going right now. I don't know. It's a tough decision. Chris Olave, Tony Pollard. The, the bonus with Tony Pollard is they're switching over to uh, a Brian Schottenheimer offense, so they're going to be running the football even more now. Kellen Moore is gone. He is with uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. So that up-tempo pace is going with the Dallas Cowboys. They're going to be running the football more. Brian Schottenheimer, I already know who he is. He was the coordinator for years for the New York Jets. The New York Jets. He runs a, eh, a very boring offense, very slow, methodical offense. And that's going to benefit the running backs. Ramondre Stevenson goes off the board. And look, look who's here. Look who's here. Chris Olave is still here. So we get the value. We get the value. Look what happens. Chris Olave falls to me in the third round. And I get my running back. All right. It was between Pollard and Stevenson. So I went with Pollard. And I still had value at that wide receiver position. Get a number one wide receiver in Chris Olave there. Definitely happy to see that. 
let's throw it back to the draft board and see who's who's going to be able to come back to come back come back to us. All right. So right now, Cooper Cup, Tony Pollard, Chris Olave. I think I got a nice little balance here going on. Quarterback, we'll see who falls to us. We might get a little creative there. Uh, let's see if we're going to be looking at any correlation. All right. We cannot forget, we want to correlate week uh, 17. So let's get that populating. So right now, already, let's see, we got Rams, we have Dallas, uh, and we have the Saints. Okay, so uh, Dallas and Detroit in week 17. We have the Rams. The Rams are going to face the Giants. I could pair. I could be looking forward to a Daniel Jones. All right, we got something here. Uh, let's see who else we got. Let's see, Lions, Cowboys. We're down here. Giants, Rams, and where's Dallas? Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Where did I get Dallas at? I don't know. I got Rams. Rams, Giants. Oh, Saints. Saints and Buccaneers. Ugh. That's an ugly one. I'm gonna try to aim for. Uh, I'm gonna try to aim for Rashad White. Mike Evans goes pretty late too. Mike Evans goes pretty late. All right, uh, Mark Andrews, Josh Jacobs, Keenan Allen, nice pick there. Reese Hall, Mr. Black looking pretty decent there. Jameer Gibbs, we had it. Oh, they got a little Detroit stack. Lamar Jackson finally goes in the third. Um, Metcalf. Jackson Chubb, AJ Brown, okay. Jay Hill, back to back selections. Are, are you gonna make big splashes like he did in during that one two turn with Jalen Hurts and uh Bijan Robinson? We are 10 picks away from my next selection here. He go, what the f uh, was Christian Kirk in the third? He goes Christian Kirk over Calvin Ridley, dude. What are you doing? It's always some BS in this, yo. I can't believe this man just did that. Jay Hill, what the... What are you doing, bro? He goes Kirk and DeAndre Hopkins. Fine. Fine with Hopkins, but you took Kirk in the third round. There's no value there. There's zero value. It's a wasted pick. I don't know what he's... Comment down below, guys. What was he... Come on, man. Jay Hill? Come on, bro. What are you? What are you? You're like 40, bro. 1983? You're like 40. Come on. Make some smarter decisions than that. Come on. Christian Kirk in a third. You got to deal with Calvin Ridley. Come on, yo. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Mr. Black is up next. Maybe he'll make a good selection. Yes. Very solid. Over a thousand yard wide receiver. That's a good selection. All right. He has a good team here. Adams, Cooper, JT, Brees Hall, if he stays healthy. This is a very good team. Balance. Justin Herbert. Love it right there. He has the stack. Dang, should I go stack? All right. We're, we're coming up to our selection. We're going to be popping in. We got Jerry Judy. We got ETN. You know I already hate Debo. Justin Fields. Watson. We'll throw him in there. Uh, we got Ken Walker. McLaurin. DJ Moore. I can go with the stack here in Chicago. Chicago and Atlanta. I don't know about Chicago and Atlanta. I don't have to go that way. We can wait. I do want to do the other stack. So, right now. We do have Justin Fields staring at us in the face. Christian Watson, I haven't had much of him this season. That's going to be cra that's crazy right now. I don't have much of him. Do I go QB now or do I wait? I can wait. I can keep waiting. I don't mind waiting. So right now we're going to go Christian Watson. High upside, explosive wide receiver here with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I got him as my last pick last year. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now he's going pretty much, what was the fourth round? Fourth round? Yeah, he's going fourth round now. Last pick the fourth round. I knew it. Justin, I knew he was going to take Justin Fields. He couldn't, he couldn't take it. He couldn't, he couldn't wait for the bait, bro. And if you're going to take Fields, you might as well take DJ Moore. Nope, he doesn't. He goes Cam Akers. What does Steve Parada do? What does Steve Parada do? He takes DJ Moore. 
All right, so he takes my selection there. I was going to go DJ Moore. So we're going to go with Drake London here. We're going to go Drake London at wide receiver. Building out our wide receiver core, we have the explosive Christian Watson. And then we got safe guys around him. Cooper Cup, Chris Olave, safety. Okay, plus Chris Watson's going to get a big target share anyway. Drake London in his year two. Should be very, very explosive. We're going to gear up for that next round. Hopefully, we'll see what the quarterbacks around there are going to be looking at, uh, looking like. I'm, I think I want to go Watson. I want to do – I spoke about Watson, and that's what, Brown? I spoke about Watson, and I want Daniel Jones. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to highly consider Anthony Richardson. Could even wait. Hit him with the double. Go back-to-back back right there. So, let's go, let's go back to this, the draft board. Quarterback is very deep. Each round, there's a guy that can win you it, okay? So, Fields, Herbert going. If Herbert would have lasted to me, I would have took him. That would have been perfect pricing for him. Fields, I like him. I think I can wait a little bit longer because I like Watson. I like London. I like all these guys a little bit more. Justin Herbert's a little bit different because I told you about Kellen Moore. All right, Kellen Moore coming over to the Chargers. That's going to boost up the snap share. That's going to boost up uh, the plays offensively for that team. They're going to be running a ton of plays per game, okay? You got the big arm of Justin Herbert kind of having a bounce back season. This is a huge, huge for Justin Herbert this season, getting Kellen Moore in that offense, okay? Love the Chargers. Love the Chargers this year, okay? They're my, hey, shot in the dark here. They're going to win the division. They're going to win the division, all right? I'm saying that right now, all right? We're going to we're gonna be bold take right there. Trevor Lawrence is off the board. So we can consider coming back around with Watson or we wait. We, want, we might want to do the stack. We might want to do the stack with, let's see. Was it the Giants since we have Cooper Cup? You might want to do that. Plus, I like Dayball and uh, Daniel Jones anyway. So there's so much upside. Daniel Jones finished top 10 in uh, fantasy last year. Geno Smith finished top 10. I expect a bounce back year from Russell Wilson. There's so many quarterbacks, okay? You're, you're probably looking for three so they can last you throughout the whole entire season. We're going to get out. Do not worry. I think... Coming back around, let's see what falls to us. Let's see what falls to us. All right, Chris Godwin off the board. Yeah, so we just added Green Bay and Atlanta. Green Bay and Atlanta. Green Bay week 19 will be the Vikings. We have no Vikings. And then Atlanta, Atlanta and the Bears. We have no Bears. We could have. That's why it would have worked. Well, if I would have won fails, it could have worked. I would have had, I would have split. But I do like Watson, okay? So J.K. Dobbins, he at least makes a decent selection here to make up for Christian Kirk um, in the third. I think that was horrible. Comment down below. How do you feel about Christian Kirk in the third round? All right, let me know. Dallas Goddard, all right, he pairs that with Jalen Hurts. He really must, he must really love Christian Kirk. That's why he really loves Christian Kirk. Because right now, his, 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 at least his draft is making sense. Other than the Christian Kirk pick. He just really loves Christian Kirk. He goes double Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin and you might as well draft. Baker Mayfield, he goes back-to-back -back Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the five and six round. Okay, RB 101-020. Uh... Only has two running backs, but he has four wide receivers here. All right. And he's he took both wide receivers. He took both wide receivers on Tampa Bay with Baker Mayfield. Okay. That's fine. That's not that fine. He could have waited. Uh, Brandon Ayuk is off the board. That's who you should have took. Uh, DeAndre Swift off the board. We're coming back around. Getting close to my selection here. So let's get that cue ready. Uh, we'll throw in Deontay, we'll throw in Brown, we'll throw in Damian Pierce, we'll throw in Pittman, we'll throw in Lockett. I'm really torn on the Lockett JSN thing here. 
uh, Darren Wall. That's what we want. I think that's what we're going to already see who I, I kind of want. And if we miss out on the tier running back, we'll just go to James Conner. But I think I definitely want Damian Pierce. Hold on, time out. All right. So the, the idea here coming up is going to be Damian Pierce and Darren Waller. Because I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for Daniel Jones on the next way around. That's gonna be the gamble. Can it be done? JSN off the board. JSN off the board. We're looking for uh, Damian Pierce, a solid number two running back in the six. This is steal, steal, freaking steal. Um, I don't think he goes running back. He just went two running backs. He needs a wide receiver. He only has one wide receiver here in Isaac Drone. I think you made a solid selection here because uh, the best running back here in the whole round is going to be Damian Pierce. Better than Sanders. Better than Swift. Uh, yeah, so we're going to... Ew, Kadarius Tony. That was horrible. All right, so we go Damian Pierce here. We feel comfortable with our wide receivers. We have four solid wide receivers. The question is, will the tight end... Uh, fall to us and coming back around in this corner. All right. None of them have tight ends. I don't think they'll maybe they might. Kyle Pitts usually draws eyes and that might force the next person to go with a tight end as well. So as long as it's not this first pick, not a tight end, he's going to obviously he's going to be better. Marquise Brown off the board. All right. Here we go. He's at the corner. One quarterback, two. He goes Kyle Pitts. He goes Kyle. There's no way you do both. And then that leaves up that leaves up to Steve. It's all up to Steve to snipe me or not. Is he going to snipe me? George George Pickens. Hey. Steve, Steve, chill. Chill. Steve. Bro. Let's talk it out here. You do not want a tight end. You do not want a tight end. Do not snipe me. I'm trying to create a game stack here. For this very good video I'm producing right now. Michael Pittman. Thank you. That was a good selection, actually. I'm very proud of you. So we go Darren Waller. Now, this is going to set us up for the next round. We want Daniel Jones. We want Daniel Jones. That's what we're going to get. We might even go double QB there. All right. We might even go double. Oh, man, John Dotson. I wanted you. All right. It's just I can't. I only have. I only can make two selections, man. I want all these players. One of these players, man. I'm trying something different here. I'm going for that game stack. The Rams and Giants. This should be a, a, a over 50 point game. It's just so many points in that game. It is not one. It's too early. It's too late. Too early. All right. Back at the board. After I get Darren Waller. Um, Addison. Off the board. Traylon Burks. Off the board. The Bucks fan doesn't have any Bucks. You should be ashamed of yourself. The Bucks fan missed out on Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. Snagged them both. And Rashad White. He missed out on Rashad White too. You're not a Bucks fan. I guess he's not a Bucks fan. Quinn Johnston off the board. Uh, solid select. Yo, he went with the full. That is a, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm trying to do here. He goes Johnston, Justin Herbert, Keenan Allen, Austin Eckler has the total uh, Chargers stack here. He came into this draft on a mission. I'm proud of Dane Train 999. Okay, Dane Train 999 gets an award. Let me know in that comment section down below. What do you think about? the entire Chargers stack for the season. I think it's a great selection. I like what he did. It. He's finding the a perfect spot in, what is that? Pick six, pick seven. He's just scooping up all the gems. Let me get Keenan there. Let me get Herbert here. Let me get Eckler there. Let me get Quentin Johnston there. Let someone else get Mike Williams. Smart decision. I like what he's doing right there. Now, we are trying to get our quarterback on the way back. Deshaun Watson is off the board. So that's fine. We were aiming for Daniel Jones, and I might go back to back. Dang, Anthony Richardson. He's going all running QBs. I like freaking J. Hill. Freaking J. Hill. J. Hill came through and ruined my ruined my uh my idea. 
All right, so we're still getting um, we're still getting Daniel Jones. Hopefully, we are a few picks away from making that decision. Uh, do these guys? Alvin Kamara off the board. Most likely going to be suspended for six games. Brandon Cooks off the board. Deshaun Watson. He goes Jahan Dotson. I like that selection there. He has two Washington. He got both Washington wide receivers. He might be aiming for Sam Howard later in the draft. I think that's it for Chargers, unless you go a little bit later with the tight end position, which would be very good. He'll get value on him later. Uh, we'll see if he goes that way, Dane Train. That'll be very interesting to see if Dane Train completes the stack with Gerald Everett. All right, that's going to be good to see there. Isaiah Pacheco, we're coming on our selection. We are three picks away. And we want Daniel Jones. We want Daniel Jones. We want Elijah Moore. We can consider Tua, maybe, but I don't have Waddle. That's fine. Samaji P. Ryan will be thrown on the board. Uh, Bateman. Well, dang, it's so many picks going by. Bateman will be thrown on the board. Who else? And Joku. All right, so we're going to get our guy. So we'll get Daniel. We get our quarterback here. Need the quarterback. Our first QB. We waited long enough. Waited till the eighth round. Got us a top 10 quarterback with the rushing upside. And Brian Dayball teaching him. We already know Brian Dayball and Josh Allen. Brian Dayball. And now you're seeing Josh Allen decline. Yo, look at Josh Allen's numbers after his record breaking season. What was it, 2020? 2021. The last two seasons have been have been uh going down. Go been going down starkly. Pay attention to what's going on with Josh Allen right now. He needs Brian Dayball. He needs Brian Dayball. He needs a number two wide receiver. His efficiency and completion percentage has been going down. You guys got to pay attention to that. And now they want to run less with Josh Allen. These are big points. Guys, you got to pay attention. Oh, no, 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 no. Josh Allen is just just might be just an erratic QB. Let's you gotta look at the numbers. You gotta look at the numbers. I had to, to do a whole another video to show you that, guys. I gotta do a whole another video. Now, I was hoping for Rashad Bateman here, but it's looking like we might go either running back or QB here. The best talented players, it's like I don't really want to take Corlin Sutton. So it's like P. Ryan and Joku. P. Ryan and Joku. What is this name? Uh, Antonio Gibson. I can go Gino too, but I'm going to know. So I think I, I might just go. Dang, I like AJ Dillon too. All right. Mm, we go P. Ryan. P. Ryan, I believe, will take over that that uh, gig this season. We have uh, hampered Javante Williams uh, first year back. Some guys are outliers. Reese Hall, before the injury, this man's a freak. First year, he's young, and he's already trending positively uh, coming back from his injury. Javante Williams, on the other hand, multiple ligaments torn in that knee. All right. He wasn't even he first of all, he didn't even take over the job fully. He was in a committee. We all hoped and prayed that he was going to take over. He had some glimpses and then got hurt. All right. There was no huge explosiveness. He was an efficient back, but he was not what we saw from Brees Hall. There's two different. There's two big differences. OK, so you can take your shot on Brees Hall, but Javante Williams is most likely going to take some time. All right, and I'm going to take that beginning first half of the season of Samaj P. Ryan getting work. This is a dual threat running back here. He can run the rock and he can pass catch. That's what we saw with the Cincinnati Bengals. He was more explosive in moments over Joe Mixon. Okay. So that's what we're rolling with there. Let's go look at that draft board after I went on my little rant. So after P. Ryan, we went and got our quarterback, P. Ryan. Then it goes Geno, Zay, Kirk, uh, Kirk Cousins, Alan Lazar, Michael. I do not like the wide receivers in this group. So in that round eight 
probably eight to 10 range. This is where you can scoop up. You can go off the, off the, once it goes past Elijah Moore and Bateman, it gets pretty ugly. All right. You can take your shot on Zay. I have no problem with that. Do not want Michael Thomas. You can consider Odell Beckham. It's like, ah, it's really ah right there. You can pivot off, get you the running back, pivot off, get you a QB. That's what we went. We got, we pivoted off and got us a QB and a running back because it's a very ugly uh, situation there. That is a good selection by RB. RB is 101020. Khalil Herbert most likely will be the number one running back in that offense, okay? I get it. It's a trio, but that is the most talented guy there. All right. So we were, we need to get back to the wide receivers soon. Jamison Williams off the board. Rashad Penny off the board. We'll see how long he lasts this season. There's no guarantee there. It really isn't. Year after year, he comes out explosive and just gets injured each and every time. So we just picked up a giant. So we have the giant stack here. So we have, let's go back. We go Houston. Houston and the Tennessee Titans, we can consider, we can fix that. We can have a correlation there with uh, Unconquel. We go with the Giants. So we have Giants and the Rams here. So we could consider Stafford and have that whole entire game. So I might do that. I think I'm, I'm going to lean towards that. If we're looking at, let's see where the heck Stafford is. Uh, Russell Wilson, where's Denver? Denver and... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Denver and the Chargers. Now all the Chargers are gone, but... Uh, I'll put him in the queue. Stafford, we could probably wait around another round for him. Antonio Gibson is off the board. That is fine there. Jay Williams, you could take advantage of the early season work for him. I'm going to aim for this A.J. Dillon selection. I think he's just getting, this is too late for A.J. Dillon. He has a ton of upside uh, with Jordan Love. They're going to be running the football a little bit more. Where's Kankonku? We definitely want that. We're going to type in Nico, Elijah, Damian, Rondell. We're going to, these, we're queuing all these guys up. So I'm going to aim for Dillon. And then we're going to, uh, let me see. Let me see. I do like the bounce back. Dang, I do want the tight end too. I can't have both. I can't have everything. Somebody's going to have to fall. AJ Dillon's gone. So with the next selection, should we go? Go Pat Fryer moves off the board. All right, Zach Charbonnet. So we got Jamison, Van Harris, Dolchich, Nico. I do want Nico. All right. All right. So we're gonna call. Dang. Let me get. Let me get Russell. We'll take Russell. It was a couple seconds left. We'll take Russell. And M. Bacala is off. He's gone. So someone they got auto drafted for him. Uh, so we go Russell Wilson. I like him there. Do I got two QBs with the same buy? Nope. All right, cool. All right. So we are going to go. You know, run down. I don't expect Nico to fall back to me. I really don't. I would have to take the shot on him and then take the L act and hope for one of the tight ends. All right, Dolce's is going. So. That combo is out of the window for me, so I'm gonna aim for. We're, go, we're just gonna take him Conkle, so we can have that correlation in that in that game. Because the Titans and the Texans, we got Pierce, and we want. We got Pierce, and I'm with the other side. With Conkle. Dang, I do, but I want Nico Collins too. I'm gonna, I think I really kind of need Nico. We might take the L on Okonku. Then I'll, I'll correlate somewhere else. I want Okonku more. That's too Houston. That's crazy. Who has a better chance of falling? Nico or Okonku? Okonku's been more of a popular guy. Nah, that's rolling the dice. I really need, the, I need a wide receiver. All right, so we go with our next wide receiver here. Now we got five, right? Yeah, we got five. All right. So we had took a break from wide receivers. We're back on the map there. We're going to stack with Russell Wilson later. 
We're going to stack with Russell Wilson later since Dolchich is gone. The last guy left to consider will be Marvin Mims. All right. That's where we're going to go. And if you're really desperate, Tim Patrick. But that's, that's what we're going to be aiming for. So we right now we're at a 2-3-5 build with one tight end. Uh, the tight end I plan to go with is going to be in that game as well with the Giants and the Rams. So we're really going to be heavy in that game. Uh, we took we took a shot, took a gamble here at the tight end position. See if Unconquo comes back to us. If he does, then that's perfect. I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't think so. Because you got some team, you got two teams here with no tight ends at all. He goes Romeo Dobbs. Okay, Chop leaves with Romeo Dobbs. And then we got who's this? And then he, there's another someone else is up here with no tight ends, but he only has four wide receivers. He might go wide receiver here. He loaded up on running backs. He has five running backs. And then he goes, yeah, that's what I expected from him. So we have a one four four one here. And I expect him to go inside like, this it's, it's a limbo. He can go either one. He might be looking for a second quarterback here. That's my that's my idea. So our goal is to get in on the way. Adam Thielen. Ugh. Ugh. Say he God. <laughs> so we alright. So with the, the fact that we have Pierce and Nico Collins, that's gonna open us up to CJ Stroud as our third quarterback so we're considering a third quarterback here the one that makes sense right now that correlates with the offense is going to be nico collin i mean it's going to be cj stroud right now i have do i have correlation with denver with samaji p ryan russell wilson we're going to get the wide receiver and marvin men's rookie wide receiver there we're going to make sure we grab him um cj stroud is going to be coming around the bend as well that's what we're going to be aiming for around here so we have a full correlation here in the majority of games in the week 17 okay correlation is going to be the key correlation is going to be uh our separator um when we're in these tournaments and these condensed tournaments as you go to the next level we're going to be separating ourselves with correlation all right so all these guys that we're going to be correlating with higby from the rams CJ Stroud, Houston to go with Collins and and uh Damian Pierce. Okay, all these guys here. Denver Denver. Uh, Denver. I don't have no oh, we can do it, Gerald Everett. So that's what I'm, that's what we're gonna aim for. That's what we're gonna aim for. So let me let me get the cues ready here. Let's see if we can get the cues ready. We want Higby, we want Everett. That's we might have to attack that Jiggle Chica Conku. That's fine. He does not come back to us. Uh, let's see how far along is CJ Stroud. We have time for CJ Stroud. We can get Stafford now. I don't know. It's either Stafford or CJ Stroud here. I have, I do have Cooper Cup, and that's it. I have Damian Pierce, and I have what you call it on the other side. So it's going to be interesting to see here. Uh, right now, I think I'm fine at the running back position. I'll just throw some of these guys in the queue. Wide receiver, men. Oh, Hodgins. We can go Hodgins there. That that's more correlation in that game. Uh, Mims not too far away. So we'll probably go Hodgins. Mims could be the one-two punch. Um, I do want to grab one of the tight ends here too. So I'm probably go a wide receiver. I'll probably go Hodgins, and I'll probably go. Dang, he took Higby. So I want Gerald Everett. I wanted Higby, he took, dang, if I would have took Higby, then I definitely would have took Stafford. Uh, now Higby's gone. We're going to go Gerald Everett. I want correlation in that game because the Chargers and Broncos. I have Russell Wilson. We're going to be taking uh, Gerald Everett right now. And that and that guy, uh, Dane Train, will not be having uh, the complete stack here. We got someone here and Gerald Everett that has high upside, yo. I'm telling you right now, this man was a sleeper. 64 receptions, 664, um, yeah, 664 yards, five TDs. He was a big sleeper last year, last season, in a poor, um, Justin, excuse me, in a poor Justin Herbert year. Okay, you're getting Kellen Moore. That means you understand what happens with Kellen Moore. It was Kellen Moore and it was Dalton Schultz in that offense connecting with Dak Prescott. 
Now you come over here, more athletic uh, tight end here in Gerald Everett. He's 10 times more athletic than Dalton Schultz. He is going to be a big, big sleeper this season, okay? Last year, I had David Njoku. I told people, go get David Njoku. This season, go get Gerald Everett, all right? I love Dolchich. I love Chig. But in the office, that's going to be putting up a ton of points. Gerald Everett is that guy. Tell you that right now. Tell you that right now. Now, we want Isaiah Hodgins here to complete the stack. And then we're going to come back around. We're going to aim for C.J. Stroud. We have Crazy Correlation. That's going to be probably going to be the title name. Crazy Correlation. It's going to be insane here in Week 17. I love this draft right now. I'm feeling, I don't know. I don't know. I feel great right now. I feel great. I'm putting a masterpiece together. All right, because I know I already know what I want. I know the pressure points. Boom, you and DJ Shark. I wasn't even looking at him, bro. You can have that. Where's Hodgins? He got. Oh, okay, I'm not saying. Woo. Boom. Now, I need to get Mims on the way back around, but we got time. He's at 178. So we're looking good. I put most of the guys in the queue. We have beautiful correlation. Uh, let's see. Dallas. Dallas and the Lions. I don't have any Lions. That's fine. But we got the LA Rams and the Giants. We got the Chargers and we got the was the Chargers and the Broncos. Definitely. We got a piece of the Chargers, the piece, the only piece that's available. And that's what we're gonna have to take. Uh, and then um we're gonna make sure we grab CJ Stroud in that Houston game, but we have no Titan to come back with, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll have to deal with it. There's not many Titans to deal with. So unless I find someone another candidate at the at that position, we got Watson. We could go. Where Jordan Love at? Is he going? Yeah, Jordan Love going. So we went London. Oh, we can go Ritter at ATL, but that's Bears. And I missed out on the Bears. Missed out on the Bears. That's fine. So we go CJ Stroud. I think we're gonna have to go running back soon. We're gonna have to go running back soon. Right now we're at a three six two. Three six two. All right, let's continue to watch the board. Algier going, Sam Laporta going. Um, what we were aiming to come back with, Mims. Mims, and we probably need to go running back here. At least finish with two more running backs. We have time. Uh, Stafford off the board finally. See, so you waited pretty long, but round thirteen for Stafford. Round 13 for Stanford. That was Rams. I could have the total package there, but I went with Hodgins. I wanted more darts in that uh, in that wide receiver room for the New York Giants. But we definitely could have went that way. Pierce. That's okay. Alec Pierce, Jawan Johnson, solid selection there. Be Hill. Uh, I wanted Higby. I like I like every more actually. Uh, Devontae Foreman gone. Raheem Mostert, Irv Smith taking a shot at Irv Smith is the number one tight end uh, with the Cincinnati Bengals now. Uh, we got Waller. We got athletic tight ends here, guys. We got Waller. We got Jared Everett, and then we're gonna have a third guy. Uh, I haven't figured out who yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, and two more picks, then I'm going to start looking at throwing some more guys in the queue. Um, we missed a little cluster here in that uh, round 11 range, around 11 and 12, actually 11 to 13. Missed a couple of running backs there. Mitchell, Warren, Bigsby, Algier, Harris. Those are solid running backs there. Even Brian Robson, because he's going to get the get the work there. Um we do have option at, no, we don't. I have Drake. Yeah, we do have option at, at Desmond Ritter. So it's either Desmond Ritter or CJ Stroud, most likely gonna be CJ Stroud. Cause I already have Collins, Pierce, and I can finish it off with another wide receiver in that offense. So right now we're looking at, oh, Kendra. We need some running backs here. We're gonna go running back. 
Yeah, we're gonna go running back and then no, but I like Kenny Game One more. So I think we're gonna go Kenny Game One over Kendra. Gainwell, it ha Gainwell has the clear-cut third down role in this offense, all right? There's no doubts about it. He's the third down guy. They're going to be splitting with Penny. Injury prone, listen to this. Injury prone Penny and injury prone DeAndre Swift are going to be the first and second down backs. They're not taking away the role that Kenny Gainwell has established in the last past two seasons, who's a very explosive pass catcher out of the backfield. Of course, DeAndre Swift can do that, but um, but they're going to be sharing the first and second down. Right now, those, those are the reports that how it's going to go. But both of those guys are highly, high, highly injury prone. Okay, we know that about them. All right, so it could be just a cleanup season for Kenny Gainwell because both of those two guys can get banged up at a moment's notice. All right, so right now, I don't know. We we're not. We might go miss out on CJ Stroud. Dang, it's between CJ. Uh, you know what? Fine. We go. We get. We get our. We get our wide receiver, and then our backup. If it doesn't go, if CJ Stroud does not fall to us, then we'll just do the Desmond Ritter and uh, Drake London stack. That's where we pivot off of that. I definitely wanted um, Mims to go with uh, to go with Russell Wilson. So we got Mims, Russell Wilson, and Samaje P. Ryan. On that side, we got Kenny Gainwell. We had a nice four two four seven two. All right, so let's throw in. We have no correlation here. I do like Mike Gesicki, New England, and the Bills. Let's see if we can find some other side here. Can we find any other correlation? Las Vegas and the Colts. We have no Colts. Jets and the Browns. We have no Browns. Let's see, Green Bay with Luke Musgrave, Green Bay, and the Vikings, got no Vikings. That's fine. So it was the Colts. Colts is Raiders. Raiders. That's fine. So we'll queue up. These are going to be the options as our third uh, tight end. Those are going to be options. So that's fine there. Green Bay and I mean we could do Green Bay. No, he's still in the Vikings. Alright, so let's go back at the draft board here. Two, four, seven, two. I usually go five running backs. Usually go five. There's there's room to go six. There's room to Tajay Spears gone. So we missed out on some guys there. Gaseki off the board. We went Gainwell and Mims. All right, Chase Brown off the board. Taekwondo Thornton, solid selection, taking a shot. Uh, especially if they do not sign uh, DeAndre Hopkins there in New England. Uh, Gus Bus, I like him as a backup running back. I should queue up some more running backs, but let's see what's, what is left. Remember, majority of positions is going to be flex and wide receivers, okay? Flex and wide receivers, and then the running backs, if guys take over and assume more aggressive roles, then they could flow into that flex spot, but they're just occupying two. So, right, so I have, I tend to have five or six for two for two spots, and that, that, that usually works out, okay? You obviously, some people just go heavier, go six to seven, seven. Sometimes you see, you know, you rarely see eight. You rarely see eight. So we're coming back around. We're going to queue up some guys here. Stroud is still on the board. I can't believe it. He's going to fall to me. I can't believe it. He's actually going to, he might fall. So let's see. Running back, you, if you could, if you want to take a late flyer, flyer on, um, Elliot, we got Ty Chandler, Pierre Strong, CEH, uh, Ezreal Bandicanda, Zamir White. All these guys are going to be candidates there. Uh, not, not a great pool. But, um, oh, I can't forget about my guy. Now make sure we grab my boy right here. Dang, I would have done it. Dang, he took, he sniped us. So we're going to, we're going to make sure we get Desmond Ritter next. Cause we do not want to miss out on that. All right, so we threw in our two punt guys. It would have been perfect. 
It would have been perfect. It been perfect. Dang, man. He almost lasted. So that was worth the gamble. That was worth the gamble. Nico Collins would have not made it. Would hundred percent he wouldn't have made it. He would not have made it. So I took the I took the took the correct decision. And it almost two picks away. CJ Shroud almost got to us. So we're gonna take Desmond Ritter here to complete our stack. We're done with quarterback. And we and we got the correlation in with, with almost each guy. We got Daniel Jones with uh Waller and Hodgins. Um, we have Wilson with per Petting and um, um, Marvin Mims. And then we got Desmond Ritter with Drake London, who we grabbed earlier in the draft. All right, so we're done with QBs. Uh, now we're going to go and throw some darts here. We're throwing some darts. Pollard right now, our running back, solid at the one two here. Pollard and Pierce. Behind that, we have Perrin and we have Gainwell. So we're gonna we need another running back. Let's see what's what's juicy left. Jeff Wilson technically has a job. He's he's technically the number one. It's between him and they, him and Mostert. They'll just take turns. Devin A. Chain is behind that. I'll take hey, I'll take Jeff Wilson. Jeff Wilson have, can have huge spike weeks. He can have huge spike weeks. So we'll, that's what we're gonna go next. Where we're at? We're round 17. Dang, Tuggy. Son of a bitch. All right, so mm, Ty Chandler. Yeah, Ty Chandler. Ty Chandler. Ty Chandler. Uh, I could wait. I definitely wait on tight end. Tight end probably going to be my last selection. There's a ton of guys. I already feel comfortable with the last two. Uh, right now, we're going to go with. Give me yeah. Alright, give me Terrace Marshall. So that's eight wide receivers. I want we got what three spots left? Three spots left. I'm probably gonna go two running backs, one tight end. Two running backs, one tight end in. To finish it off. That's on. Thank God. That was that was rough. Uh, I didn't even look at it. Alright, uh coming up next, let's look at back at the board. Uh, Khalil Shakir, John Mechie, everyone's throwing their darts here. Joshua Miller, he goes, <laughs> yeah, he found another, he found another charger. Uh, he found another charger. That's hilarious. Uh, Dane Train found another charger. Hey, can't stop, won't stop. I told you, if he would have, if I wouldn't have took Gerald Everett, he would have took Gerald Everett. 100% he would have took him. I know. All right, Richie James, Chuba Hubbard, Richie James, Devonta Parker, who just got newly signed, but they still have space for uh, DeAndre Hopkins, so do not worry about that. Right now, Claypool off the board. That's pretty late for Claypool, too. And now it slows down, which is crazy. You think it would go for a little bit faster here, but people are just searching for guys with that have possibility of upside. That's what uh, everyone is searching for right now. Um, 
that that was a nice move from the dude that stole CJ Stroud from me. He paired it with John Mechie late, but I have the better pairing. That's okay. I would have had definitely would have had the better pairing. Um, coming back around slowly. Slate, uh, Slate and Ty Chandler. So that running back option is going. Paris Campbell off the board. Pierre Strong, another running back is going. Uh, so we're gonna have to be. We're gonna have to go with a running back coming up. Let's see. Uh, Zamir White, Israel Benacanda, McBride, Zach Evans. Throw a, bun a bunch of darts at these guys here. Um, who was the one? Fanat could get signed. Is there anyone else? Masking signs. Zach Moss, Rita. Uh, Keontae Ingram. Throw a dart on him. It's really ugly after that, but I usually have five running backs. So let me get, make sure I get the last one. Technically, Carter is the backup in in New York, but they did draft high upside at Vanakanda. So you, if you wanted to decide there, Deuce Vaughn, smaller running back, but I already have Tony Pollard. I don't want to, I don't want to you're taking a Sharns route on him. You could do that. But pick 214, we're going to be aiming for one of these running backs here that I got queued up. So we'll take Samir White. We are, was it, two selections away? Yeah, two selections away. I might throw another dart on one of these running backs, but maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait. Ty Chandler was the guy to have if you were going to choose one. Last but not least, it's going to have to be between Abanikand and Michael Carter. Uh, with the tight end position, it would be Jelani Woods. I think he has he's the last bit of upside there. Uh, so I think I'll go him and then we'll wait and see what happens at that at that running back position. Uh, I might just throw a dart on one of these guys here. Last two rounds, it has slowed down considerably. Uh, we are waiting for Steve Perota to make his selection here. And I went a little bit different in this draft, all right? Uh, we, we waited on QB. We were able to snag some high upside guys. Daniel Jones has the uh, rushing upside, of course, with Brian Dayball. We have Russell Wilson with Sean Payton in the bounce back season. And we grabbed Desmond Ritter, who is now the number one QB, but we paired him with Drake London. All right, so we're going to take upside in athletic Jelani Woods. We have very, very athletic tight ends, okay? We have Darren Waller, we have Gerald Everett, and we have Jelani Woods, okay? All the guy, all these guys have big, big upside, okay? So um, next at that running back position, that uh, one might throw the last bit of uh, a dart at. So we got six instead of nine wide receivers. This is pretty ugly here. Um, on, let me see. Let me let's let's go down the list. I don't know if I'll see somebody with with upside. Haskins got arrested. Brita maybe, but when's the last time you've seen? Dang, that's tough. They really don't have a backup. That's sad. Uh, Spiller, James Robinson, no. Rodriguez is a special teamer. Chase Edmonds, maybe if things don't work out. Well, he still might be the number two anyway. Blackshear has been talked about as the number three pass catching running back um, for the Carolina Panthers. How do you do last season? Let it work. Not really. He has pressure. Uh, 432. Uh, I might take a, a dart on Blackshear. TP. Trevion Williams. Tyler Batty, you know, Benjamin. Yeah, it, it's ugly. Jared Patterson, this is crazy. There's no one here. Except for that, where's that? What's his name? Is it Prince? I gotta find this guy, hold on. Let me find this guy. Is it Prince? I wanna look for that backup. Um, 
running back for the no I don't want to do that I don't want to do that All right, so it's, it's, we're, we're, we're waiting here. We're waiting, coming back around. Is it coming back around yet? Just start slowly. Nine picks away from our last selection. Most likely going to go running back here. The question is who? Obviously, as the summer goes along, there's going to be clarity on more of these backup guys, uh, especially with cuts being made. There's going to be a clear cut. All right, he's the number two. Take a shot on that spot for a lot of these offenses. Okay, so now everyone's just throwing darts at running backs. You got four running backs in a row. McBri McBride, Ronald Jones, Mike Davis, Latavius Murray. Uh, Cedric Wilson, wide receiver from Miami. Hopefully he's healthy this year. They were not able to utilize him last season. Um, and we are five picks away. I'm kind of like forcing running back, unless the best value here is Tank Dell, just pure talent. Pure talent. Tank Dell Ferguson's going to be on the, on the field. Hasty, yeah. I don't know. Keontae could take a shot there. Really ugly. Yeah, we might we might as well just chuck that deuce and take that. That's what I'm most likely gonna do. Let's see if he even falls to us. No CJ Stroud, but I had a ton of Houston. Uh, we're going heavy Houston here. Let's see if he's able to come to us. I'll take the ninth wide receiver. I'm not taking. Him. I, I want more clarity that's gonna go on during this off season. Uh, during training camp. Okay. Uh, I'll find some more deep, deep, because right now we're in the 230s, man. We're, we, we're going to find some deep, deep uh, running backs. Yeah, I could go in Bandit Cannon. I could go Bandit Cannon, but we'll take things down. That's fine. All right, so that is going to finish our draft here. We have correlation to Week 17 with that Giants and Rams game, uh, with the Denver game as well. We have correlation in Atlanta. We have a little bit everywhere. We went with the three, five, nine, three build. Uh, could have been more balanced with more, just maybe one more running back, but that's fine right there. I think we're pretty solid for our whole entire season. I went Christian Watson. I did not go Christian Watson for most of this, uh, for most of my best ball drafts. But thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back with another video very soon. All right. Peace out, guys.